Well, howdy. What you're looking at today is this Thompson Center Contender. I bought this back in the mid eighties. Uh, it was, it was a gun show and it just looked cool. So I picked it up. It's a single shot pistol that has an interesting break action. You pull like this and it uh, opens up, shoving you around, shut it, cock it and fire. Now this, the unique thing about a Thompson Center Contender is it uses interchangeable barrels. The one on it right now is kind of uh, loud. <laughs> it's a 223, and oh my, when you shoot this thing, it, it's uh, it's quite a report. Since then, I've picked up a few other barrels. I have three more here. This one, actually, I think this is the one that came with it. This is a 357 Maximum barrel. 357 Maximum was a uh, uh, well, it was, it was a very popular pistol caliber, I think in the 70s. I have exactly 20 pieces of brass that'll shoot 357 maximum. I bought one box. It was very expensive even back then. And uh, I've reloaded them many, many times. This also shoots uh, 357 Magnum and 38 Special. Uh, it's just, it's an obsolete cartridge, but an interesting one. And these two are quite interesting in that, oh, my felt is coming loose. I have to work on that. These two are a, let's see, 45 long Colt and 410 uh, shotgun. And this is 44 Magnum or 44 hot shot. And both of these currently have chokes in them to uh, uh, use those uh, uh, scatter shot cartridges. And, uh, well, I just find it an interesting concept that you can do that. The Thompson Center Contender can be had in anything from 22 a uh, rimfire up to, uh, I've seen them in 4570. I haven't shot that. I'd love to get a barrel and try it, but oh my, that would be something else. How do you do rimfire and uh, uh, center fire? Well, let me show you. If you, uh, oh, let's see here do this and this, you'll notice the firing pin here. There's, there's a little screw thing. You can just turn a screwdriver in here. And uh, is that it? No, this is it. Oh, no, this is, this is the safety such that it is. Uh, anyway, if you turn the screwdriver the other way, then the, uh, this pin will hit in a rimfire configuration. It's an interesting design. The trigger on this is just as light as can be. It's a wonderful little pistol. I, I bought this used. They put them in, in many various configurations. You can get them scoped. Uh, they even made a rifle out of this. Uh, and you, there are rifle barrels that will fit it. The way it works is, is you take a screwdriver and take this front piece off and there's a pin that goes straight through. It's this size hole here. And all of these barrels will fit this particular action. So uh, it's, uh, I don't even know if they're making these anymore. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I, I do know that they're a whole lot of fun. They're very popular for uh, uh, hunting. And this was sort of the poor man's answer to the XP100 of Remington. Yeah, firearms addict, I saw yours. <laughs> very, very cool, by the way. But this is, this is a poor man's version of that. And uh, I, I'm a poor man, so I got into this. Uh, I was I was much poorer in the '80s than I am now, but uh, I was I'm not exactly wealthy today. But and I was pretty destitute back then. But you know, I have I'm also a firearms addict, as it were. <laughs> I like interesting gadgets, and this I found to be a quite interesting gadget.